Hello everyone, welcome to our channel All Tech Queries, a YouTube channel where you will find solutions for all your technical queries. So today we are going to look at some Windows display settings that are choose a fit. So here are a few options. So before that let me explain why are this useful. So several people keep complaining that when they set an image as their desktop background, it's not fitting to their desktop screen okay because the resolution of the image and the resolution of their desktop is different so unless you are getting the same resolution image as your desktop resolution you are not going to get a proper fitting on your desktop screen however there are some options here provided by, provided by windows by using which you can properly fit the image to your desktop resolution so let me explain you so here is our logo so i have created this logo and see if when i set this as my wallpaper it was the fit was fill okay so this option was selected by default so this is how my wallpaper used to look okay so i came here and i properly inspected every option from here to understand it so today I'm going to explain it to you. So what are each and every images and when it is useful to you. So okay, let's start with fill. Okay, this fill option will fill your desktop with the entire image. So whatever wallpaper you have selected, it will fill your desktop with it. Okay, let's see an example here. So here are some images of different resolutions. As you can see, the dimension of every image is different. I have downloaded this to show show you with an proper example. So let me set this as wallpaper. So as you can see, the wallpaper is touched, filling your desktop PC. But because of the less resolution, you you are seeing a pixelated image. So this is also a smaller resolution than my desktop. So we are going to see the same type of effect here. You will see some pixels here now this is a proper resolution this is going to fit properly on my desktop so you can see this image this wallpaper looks beautiful so you can have a larger resolution image okay having a larger image is no problem but having a smaller image will create a problem okay so let me set this as my desktop background and the option is fill so it is filling my desktop this wallpaper is completely filling my de entire desktop so because of high resolution i am seeing a better picture so same as same for this this wallpaper as well see now let me explain the another option fit so what fit is going to do is it's going to select either the height or width and stretch the image to to either height or width so let me explain with an example so i am setting this as desktop background and the option is fit so it is fitting it is fitting vertically okay so you can see empty spaces in the horizontal because our screen might be in different aspect ratio and this image is in this different aspect ratio so that is why you are seeing these gaps here let us see this one so see this is also you can see a little gaps here because the image in, is in this different aspect ratio for this see even after having a high quality image we are getting this gaps here because the image is fitting to the vertical okay vertical if or if your image is more in the horizontal it will show horizontally and you will see gaps in up and down so this image is filling properly because it has the same aspect ratio as our desktop so that is why you can see a full image here even if we selected the fit option so let's go to the next option stretch so what happens is it's going to stretch the image from four sides to touch 
the corners of the screen so let us see this image see it is stretching the image so if you have a different image like different aspect ratio image you will see stretch you will see a stretched image so see it looks like it is stretched okay the horizontal is the horizontal length is reduced to fill the desktop so that is what stretch is now the next option is tile so tile is useful if you have a smaller image so if you have a larger image you won't see a difference let me show you the larger image first so what it is going to do is it is going to cover this area okay from here it is going to take the exact resolution of your screen and it is going to show that much image only see you can see this much image here so let's see another picture this has some less resolution and till here you can see the image is cut yeah image is cropped and if you choose different image like this this is a smaller image so let me show this one see so it is going to cover your pc with this image by cutting it into pieces so this is what the tile option option do so the next option is center so it is similar to the tile option but it is not going to arrange all tiles uh, instead it is going to show a single image and keep it in the center see this is an example so when you select the center you will get choose your background option so this option you will also get in the fit because when you choose the fit option you can see the empty spaces on both sides and when you select the center you will see empty space on all sides so windows allows you to choose a background color for this so you can choose a background color like this whatever color you want so in so except the image all the desktop background will be changed to this color so this is useful when you choose a logo or something so if you previously saw my all tech queries logo was there and i set it as center and i have selected the color white okay this is here is the color white so that is how you are you were seeing the all tech queries logo in the center with all white background okay so let's go to the next option span now so okay uh, before that let me explain something more about the center option so it is also going to work with these images but it will show the center so before we have selected the tile option when you select the tile option it was showing from here to whatever resolution your desktop is now after selecting the center option it will show the center it will show the image from the center okay so this is what you are going to see on the desktop see as i said so now get to let's go to the span option okay you will you won't see span you won't see any changes when selecting the span option okay if you select this image and click on span you won't see much difference okay it is it looks same as fill but it is not same so when it is useful so it is useful when you have multiple monitor setup so if you have two monitors and this is a large resolution image so what you can do is you can set up four or two or three how many monitors you want when you have such setup you should select the option span so this image will be spanned to other monitors as well okay this entire image will be spread and you can see the single wallpaper on all your monitors so that is how the span option works so i hope you understand all these options and i have also a video where i have explained how to change the desktop background using two methods you can also check the check that video so that's all for today guys
I hope this video was helpful. And if you think this video was helpful, then click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel All Tech Queries to get technical informative videos and how to tutorials. So, thank you for watching.